Ship Simulator Extremes, The Collection. It's been a while since I've played this game. And as you can see, so long that they no longer have the server up for the downloadable missions. But with a little bit of intuition and a little bit of foresight, I had gone and downloaded all the missions that I could download and saved them to my hard drive because I figured I'd probably get rid of the missions some way or another and I, I like doing these things. Some missions are way better than others and I really look for one that would I think would be a good video also. The mission I picked is the Crew Supply to Tantalus by the Denza Daga. The mission's more than a supply run, there's some action involved some offshore transport. It's a difficulty level of training. The mission creator was Rooster. And the start environment is Marseille, France. And it's, you know, taglines would be crew change, fire, and ferry. And let's go for a, uh, a little boat ride. We've got the engines fired up. And let's go ahead and get on board and get underway. We've got a ferry that uh, wants a spot here in a few minutes. Letting loose of line number one and line number two. Then we're going to head back aft and uh, get the stern line or line number three. And finally, let loose of line number three, our stern line. The mission instructions say the new crew is on board. Let go of the moorings and leave Basin and Nationale. Hitting the drop arrow, it says. Mind the inbound ferry. Sail via the south entry of Marseille Harbor. The max speed in the harbor area is 12 knots. If you can make it to the end of the mission, I'll have some new information on the new ship simulator from V-Step. It will be called Nautis Home, which is a home version of their commercial ship simulator software. Nautis Home is to be released sometime in 2022 and I'll have pictures of some of the ships involved and some of the location and harbors that are also involved. So be sure to stick around for that at the end of the mission. There's the ferry so we're clear of him and go ahead and head out of the basin here and then uh, when we get to the main channel we'll head south or to the left to head out of the harbor. My overall favorite vessel in Ship Simulator is the Fairmont Sherpa, but uh, that's not in this mission, and the Denza Daga takes a very close second. I like the way the Daga handles, and it does remind me of the 82-foot Coast Guard vessel I used to run. Keep heading south and uh, head out the south interest and shoot our way out to the tent list to resupply it. Thank you. 
Objective cleared. You have left Marcel Harbor. You can speed up now. The freighter ahead has priority. You have to pick up one officer at Le Ratoon. I don't know if I said that right. I'll put it up on the screen. Proceed to Port du Faru. Again, I'll put that on the screen. And moor there with two lines. made it to Port du Frioul, and that's our pickup waiting there on the pier for us to come get them. We'll pull in here to dock and we'll tie up with two lines, pick up our passenger, and be on our way out to the Tantalus. Gonna stick a stern line on here to suck us into the dock. Objective cleared. Officer is now boarded. Now the whole crew is complete. Leave the port and proceed to the platform to drop off the new crew. The platform is situated quite near Isle Pamagus, southwest of Cape Cavu. Let go of the spring line and we're back underway.
I came down to the 01 deck to grab a cup of coffee and meet the crew we're taking out to the Tantalus. And I think I'll head on outside and check the Tantalus out from the deck. There's the Tantalus off in the distance. I'm back on the bridge and checking the Tantalus out with a pair of binoculars. We'll be there shortly. As you can see, they're launching a small boat that will meet us off the uh, Tantalus. There's the motor lifeboat Davit. Objective cleared. Now maneuver alongside the Davit. We'll wait here while we transfer crew from and to the Davit. Now that the transfer of the crew is complete, we'll take the crew back to Port du Faru, and they can take the ferry back to the mainland from there. Objective cleared. Fire alarm at the Tantalus. A fire has broke out at the platform near the command center. Go back and fight the fire with your water cannon. The new crew will stay on board the Davit as long as the fire is awake. They will stay in a safety area some distance away from the platform. The fire is really burning there. And there's the Davit. They're nice and safe. Objective cleared. Fire is extinguished. No casualties. Head back now to Port de Ferrule. The crew in the Davit will return to the platform. The replacement crew will disembark in Port de Ferrule and take the ferry to Marseille Harbor.
Get out my face. That's where we'll tie up next to this ferry here in Port Du Farul. I'll spin her around and then back her into the slip. slowly. Good thing I got rubber tire bumpers. Then we'll go ahead and hook up both our mooring lines. Objective cleared. The crew will leave your ship and change to the ferry. You now sail the fast ferry which will take the crew to Marseille. Leave the port and set sail for Marseille via the south entry. We're underway to Marseille. The Red Jet came into service on the Soylent in 1998 and was considered the flagship of the Red Funnels fleet. She is powered by two MTU-12V-296's TE-74L turbocharged diesel water jets, each delivering an output power 1,000 kilowatts at 200 RPM. She can carry around 187 passengers on high-speed services. Red Jet 4 has two sister ships in her class, Red Jet 3 and Red Jet 5, which was launched in 2009. We're entering Marseille Harbor at the south entrance. There's our berth. We'll let the passengers off and we'll complete the mission. Well, we'll come in and hook up a bow line and then we'll back down on that bow line and suck our stern in. and then hook up our stern line and that should complete the mission. Mission completed. Thanks for taking the time to watch this mission and as I promised to you before we've got an update on the Nautis at home and the ports and some of the ships that will be involved. Of course Nautis will include the port of Rotterdam it's their home city and a beautiful port. Rotterdam is the largest seaport in Europe and functions as a crucial transit point between the European continent and other parts of the world. 
You can polish your navigation skills in the famous port of Rio de Janeiro. Located on the shores of Gunabara Bay and overlooking the famous Christ of Redeemer Monument, this port is a joy to sail. Hong Kong is a landmark harbor, a major hub in the Southeast and East Asian regions, and a leading port in terms of handling and operating container vessels. Due to its pivotal role, imagine that it handled around 18 million TEUs of containers in 2020. Learning how to navigate the port is must-have knowledge for every sailor. Nautis Home Simulator will help you there. And I'll save the best for last, now to the ships. Nautis is working to develop more ships, so let me introduce you to some of them. This is the Groot Pier 1, a tugboat that will help you maneuver the busiest ports and lead other vessels. Realistic ship towing scenarios under any weather conditions, all will be available in Nautis Home. For inland shipping training, we have Leo Cadia 1. I know I'll be looking forward to mastering my inland skills with the new Nautis home. But by looking at these uh, pictures, I'll need to upgrade my computer. And Nautis hasn't forgot about one of the most requested vessels, the cargo ship motor vessel Go For It. This freighter will take you through the seas and oceans under the most extreme weather conditions. Well, that's all the information that I know for now. Nautis says they're preparing a huge update sometime in 2022, so we'll see what they come out with. Again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.